let delta denote the transition function and del cap denote the extended transition function of the epsilon nfa whose transition table is given below we have been given this transition table then del cap of q2 aba is they have been given the four options here so this is a question from theory of computation regarding nfa and epsilon nfa so here we have been given the transition table for an epsilon nfa including the transition for epsilons and then a and b are the letters in the alphabet so this is the transition table given below now they are asking to find out the extended transition function del cap and we need to find out the del cap for a b a on q2 which means that if you are in state q2 and if you are seeing the string a b a which all states we can finally reach we need to find out del cap del cap meaning for epsilon transition also we need to include now let us see how to do that now this is the nfa given for this transition table initially we have state q0 in q0 on seeing epsilon i will go to q2 which i have given here on epsilon i go to q2 on a i go to q1 given here on b i go to q0 from q0 on b i go to the same state q0 only now let us look at q1 on epsilon i go to q2 on a i go to q2 so epsilon comma i will go to the same state q2 and on b i go to q3 which is given here from q2 on epsilon i go to q0 we have a transition back to q0 on a and b there is no transition it's an nfa so that is perfectly fine in q3 on epsilon or a we don't have any transition only on b we will go to q2 so this is the nfa now based on this let us see what will happen when a b a appears when we are in state q2 so in the state currently we are in state q2 okay i've given it here now we need to find out del cap which is the extended transition function so whichever transition we can take using epsilon that is which all state we can go using epsilon transition that also we need to include so currently we are in state q2 if you see on epsilon we can go to q0 as well so i will write it like this here q0 as well and on epsilon on q0 i can go to q2 but q2 is already there there are no other states which can i can go using epsilon transition so if you are at q2 even before we start seeing the strings in aba even before we start seeing this we can reach states q0 from q2 using the epsilon transition so simultaneously we can be in state q2 and q0 now let us say we are seeing the string a now on q2 we'll take a transition on q0 also we'll take a transition so if you look on q2 there is no a transition available so we can't go anywhere so this i will close it with a red cross on q0 on seeing a i can go to q1 so q1 is the current state now now let us see where all we can go using epsilon transitions from q1 with epsilon i can go to q2 and on q2 with epsilon i can go to q0 there are no further state which i can go using epsilon transition so after seeing a i can be simultaneously in states q1 q2 or q0 again i will see the next alphabet that is b on q q0 on seeing b i will go to q0 only q2 on seeing b i will there is no transition available so from q2 i can't go anywhere on seeing b on from q1 on seeing b i will can go to q3 so now q0 and q3 are the states now but if you look from q0 taking epsilon transition i can simultaneously go to q2 as well there are no further epsilon transition which i can say take so currently the states are q0 q2 and q3 again we need to see the third letter that is a q0 on a i can go to q1 from q2 on seeing a there is no transition so this is closed here q3 on seeing a there is no more transition so that's also closed here so the final state will be q1 but then we need to include the epsilon transitions as well from q1 i can take epsilon transition and go to q2 from q2 i can take epsilon transition and go to q0 as well there are no more epsilon transitions so if i was in state q2 initially on seeing string a b a i can finally end up in one of these three states that is q1 q2 and q0 now we look at the options q0 q1 and q2 that is option c